I don't think I'm capable of having an original thought. It's all just this remix of images and experiences and I'm just saying it with a slightly different accent. You know? And I've been lucky enough to have worked with people like Noon and Loic, these artists who have a very distinct style already and we're very encouraging as like, you know, go in this direction because this is if this is what you want to do, then this is what you do. And uh, and Noon especially was like, well, if you want to do this style, then you need to just do this style. You need to go through your portfolio and take everything out of your portfolio that is not what you want to do. And then only offer the customer this. One customer who I had tattooed a few times and she wanted something out of my sketchbook. It was a painting that I had done. So I did, I did this tattoo straight out of my sketchbook on her and it's just this weird fucking mess of like, just weird shapes and very abstract. It was so weird, but it felt so good doing it because it wasn't like any other tattoo that I had seen. Um, and I remember showing like a friend of mine who's a very traditional tattooist and I was at this convention and he, I, he came over to the booth and I was like, oh my God, look at this, look what I did. And he just was like, whoa, what am I looking at? And I was like, it's a fucking tattoo. And he's like, is it? And I think that that moment gave me like a fucking motivating fire in my ass to like, yeah, it is a fucking tattoo. And yeah, I'm gonna do more like this. There's a lot of plagiarism inside tattooing. And the first time it happened to me, I got so mad. Like there was this very visceral fucking anger of like finding a copy of a work that I had, you know, put my heart and soul into. I still think that it's one of the shittiest things you can do is to plagiarize someone. It's like you're not just stealing the one work that I did, you're stealing my life experience that led me to create that work. The style I do, the skills I've acquired, uh, all of this is built up from childhood forward. Drawing comic book characters, to when I first started painting, to when I you know, went to school, to uh, when I started teaching myself, when I had art shows, when I, you know, every painting and every drawing I've ever done up to that point has led to that particular work of art. And when you copy it and you're stealing my life experience, There's ritual, there's the tribe, there's the process of becoming a man or becoming a woman. There's a million different reasons why people get tattoos, like ancient man. The reasons people got tattoos weren't exactly why people get tattoos today, but on some level, we still do that. I think that it's part of what makes us human. It's this need to connect with other people and it's just a, a way to mark ourselves and show the world like this is who I am. I don't have a weird tattoo on me. Like I don't have some avant-garde style of tattoo. I have a very traditional Japanese sleeve. I have a very realistic black and gray sleeve. Because honestly, ah, my style's not for me. I don't really want one of my tattoos. <laughs>